So you don't know about an IP address? So don't worry, billions of computer users out there also don't know. So in the today's lecture, we'll be looking at what an IP address is. Let's look at an example. The humans identify each other by name. The human brain finds it relaxing to remember names. However, that's not the case with computers. Computers don't understand human languages. So, how do the computers identify each other in a network? The answer is IP address. It is a unique number computers use to identify each other in a network. Out of millions of houses, you receive the letter because of your unique mailing address. IP works the same way. Let's look at the example of IP version 4, the most used IP addressing scheme. IP address have 4 sections and each section can have value from 0 to 255, like below example. In binary format, each out of 4 sections contain 8 places with possible value of 0 or 1, which is 32 bits in total. In the past decade, there has been an explosive growth in internet using devices, which IP version 4 wasn't designed to handle, and there's become shortage of IP addresses. Here's why. If you have to make two digit number by using value 0 or 1, then possible combinations would be 2 raised to power 2 equals to 4, and these would be the combinations. As IPv4 is 32-bit binary address, so the possible combinations appears to be 4.3 billion approximately, and internet using devices are now more than 4.3 billion. So we suffer from shortage of IP addresses. The first solution to this problem was IP version 6. That was introduced as 128-bit addressing scheme with an assumption that we will never run out of IP addresses in many future generations. Another proposed solution was private and public IP addressing. Assume that you have 50 employees working in your company. Then if you start buying an internet connection for every single person, then it means you reserve 50 IPs out of already scarce resource. So, this problem was solved using the concept of public and private IPs. You buy a single internet connection and then make your private network. In this way, you have single public IP and all of your network devices would have private IP address. These are the IP address changes that are not routable over public network and considered as private IP address. Is all this too much to handle? Then don't worry. IP addresses work automatically in background so you can focus on what's important. To see your private IP address in Windows, open a command prompt and write ipconfig slash all. In Linux, open terminal and type the command ifconfig. To check your public IP address, just open www.whatismyip.com in your browser and your public IP would be displayed. If this video was helpful, then like this video and subscribe my channel.